Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is uh, video number three in my daily Linux video series. Today we're going to talk all things about showing progress in your shell scripts. And this was something that was requested uh, in, a, in a comment on the previous video. And so we're going to talk about how you can improve your scripts so you can show status and show what's going on with them. And we're going to cover three main topics here today. Um, first of all, the PV command. Um, this is the pipe view command. This is a very cool utility. We'll cover that. We'll also talk about command specific um, options like tar and rsync, which are capable of showing progress while they're running. And then lastly, we'll cover um, writing your own progress indicator in, in your shell script for, for custom items that you have. So without further ado, we'll get on the live system and uh, demonstrate each of these topics. Okay, the first command we're gonna cover is the PV command, which is the pipe view command. Um, one problem when you're doing tasks with pipes is you don't really know what the status is of the of what's going on. For example, let's do a grep um, for error. So we're looking for the for the word error, and we'll look in test file one. And if we do that, so the grep is running. This test file is about a gigabyte in size, so it's a big file. It's running right now, but we have no idea what the status of, of it is. Open there, it, it completed. It found four lines with error. But we had no idea what the status was until it completed. So what you can do with the PV command is kind of get an inside look in what's going on through any pipeline. And the way you do that is we'll, we'll do PV, PV, say test file, two, and then we'll pipe and grep for error. And in this case, the PV is working just like the cat command would. would. It's going to basically take this file and pipe it to grep, and grep's looking for the word error. But what PV will do is it'll show us status of what's going on while it's running. So we'll run this. You can see it's going to show the ETA is eight seconds away. This is our progress bar. This is our throughput, and this is our elapsed time. This is how much data is passed through the, the pipe there. And then you can see it came back, and it has the four lines from grep that are displayed on the screen there. Um, another kind of cool thing you can do with PV is you can copy files with it. Um, and I'll show you the, the progress. If you do PV, we'll do test file, redirect to test file 3. And so basically this is going to essentially, you know, cat this file and then redirect it to a new file basically the same as a copy, but it'll show us the progress while it's doing that. Another thing you can do is combine PV with the dialog utility, which will show an even nicer uh, progress bar on the screen. And we'll, we'll show that next once this copy gets done here. All right. So what we're going to do, we'll I'm going to put this in, a pr in parentheses. We'll do PV minus N. The minus N tells PV to send out a uh, this numeric output that, that the dialog command can pick up. We'll do test file. And then we'll do um, test file 4. So basically we're going to do another copy, but you can do this with any any command you want to you know pipe into dialog. We'll just do a copy in this example. Then we're going to redirect um, standard error to standard output. And we'll pipe it to dialog, and then we'll do the gauge, and this will be what it shows on the screen, and this is the size of the status bar here. So basically we're doing our PV with numeric output, piping it to dialog, which is going to show it nice. So this will show basically a dialog screen of a file copy. We'll press enter there, and you can see here it comes up, shows the percentages it's copying the file. And you know it's a really nice uh, looking screen here. And Dialog has all kinds of options and very very robust utility. <clears throat> all right, next what we're going to look at is command specific, um, basically progress options. A, a lot of the commands already have the ability to to show the progress uh, on the screen anyway, so you don't really have to do a lot when you're writing scripts other than just add the options. For example, if you need to do a tar in your script, we could do a tar minus minus and use the checkpoint and then you give it a number here for how, many, um, how often you want to show the status to the screen and then we'll uh, 
do the rest of the tar command like we normally would. And you can see it's writing the checkpoints. And if we wanted to see less frequent numbers, let me just control C out of that, we could just change this to like a higher number, like 10,000. You can see. So, so the other thing you can do is if you put a dot in front of the number, like let's say dot 1,000, tar will show dots while it's creating the archive. And you can kind of gauge by how fast the dots are coming, how fast it's uh, writing the output file. So that's a you know a handy handy way to do status um, with the tar command. Um, another thing I'm just going to clean up a little bit here. Another thing you can do um, is like the rsync command. A lot a lot of times is used in script, and it has uh, the ability to show the progress as well. So if we do an rsync minus minus progress, and then we'll copy uh, test file two to test file um, three. And rsync here will show us, you know, the status of the ETA when it's going to be done, megabytes throughput, percentage, and all that. So, so rsync can do that as well if you use that minus minus progress. All right, the last thing I just controlled seed out of that. Um, the last thing I'll show you is if you want to do your own. Um, write your own uh, custom one in your shell script, you can do that as well fairly easily. Let me do just a little more cleanup here. Alright, the last thing I'm going to show you is just a simple sh sh shell script showing you how to do your own little status indicator. Very rudiment rudimentary one. Alright, within here, in this shell script, what we're going to do here is create an infinite loop. So we'll say while true, do echo minus n and then a dot. Then we'll sleep for one and then um, done. So if we run just this part by itself here on the terminal, all it's going to do is print a dot every second. Okay. And then what we do here is we background that. Okay. So in our script, we're basically going to background a process that prints a dot every second. Okay. Then the next thing we do is we have this trap command <clears throat> that'll pick up any sig term or sig, sig kill signals, and when it does, it'll say kill dollar sign exclamation point. This returns the PID of the last command that was put in the background. So basically, if anyone tries to you know control C or kill our script, it's going to clean up and kill this process in the background that's printing dots to the screen. And that's important because you don't want to end up in a situation where your script is uh, terminated or killed, but that background process is still running because otherwise you'll get dots printed to your screen every second. So you want to make sure you have some, some way to clean that up. And that's what this trap command is. All right. And then basically in here would be where you'd have whatever you were running in your script. In this example, I'm just running a tar command, um, just as an example. But you could have whatever your script needed to do in this part. And then after your script did, did what it needed to do, then you did the kill dollar sign exclamation point, which again, will just kill the last command put in the background, which is our, our while loop that's echoing dots in the background. And so if we run this, let me do chmod plus x. So if we run this, okay, you see it's printing a dot every second while the tar command is running. And when it completes, it'll uh, do the echo done here, and it'll kill that background process that was printing dots to the screen. So this is kind of, again, it's a, it's a simple, simple status here. You know, all it's doing is printing dots. But a lot of times this can be helpful just to show the user who's running the script that, hey, something's still happening. It hasn't locked up, especially for people who aren't familiar with, with Unix and are used to seeing something on the screen when they run a command, you know, putting this in your script can be helpful. And there you go, it says done when it was done. So very simple script just to show a little bit of status of what's going on, uh, show that the script is making progress. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you have any ideas for future videos, please uh, post those as well. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.